dope. Yeah, so this car just got some uh, bolt-ons and um, injectors and stuff put on. So we're going to load a tune from Lund. We've been going back and forth um, through emails, sending revisions and stuff. And today is the first one where we can go wide open throttle. Quick note before we actually get into everything. Uh, you got to have your software on a Windows laptop because Macs don't work with the software you need to load the tune. So you can find the SCT device updater uh, through Google. So you can literally search SCT device updater. It'll give you this uh, derived system software. And then for the data logging, there's another uh, piece of software which we'll show you once we get there. What you want to do first is always plug this first, plug this in first, um, and then... To load a tune onto there, you're gonna have to do uh, load custom tune file. Once it does that, it has to talk to the device. Basically, you get this. Um, these are the tunes on the device. These are the available tunes. We don't have any available tunes yet because we just don't. So you're doing, gonna do browse. Um, I'm gonna go to my folder. Yeah. Open it. Now when it's in the left, move it to the right. Add to device. I'm gonna take this one off. And then and once then, you click program, it sends the custom tune from the computer onto your SCT device, and then you can load it onto your car. So while Michael does all this stuff on the computer, I'll give you a quick rundown of what's going on here. Because this is a Vortec V3 car. Um, it's got, what is it, ID1050X injectors? Yeah, ID1050Xs. It's got a VMP uh, boost to pump plug and play. The JLT intake. Um, these breathers. And... Well, and it's, of course, a cap back. And, um, and yeah, so the car was originally on its Vortec base map. It was just the Vortec supercharger kit and the Corsa cap back. And it was on the base tune for a whole season, and that was fine. But there's a lot more power to be made, so the boost to pump and injectors uh, and the coal there should uh, free it up. And that's what we should be seeing with this first uh, watt revision. Exactly. So I got to load up the TLR. So take your SCT device, plug it into uh, your car's OBD port, which this car is kind of like half hardwired, so it already runs down into the OBD. Let me, um... Turn that fucking music off, copyright. <laughs> um, so yeah, you go through the menus and follow the steps uh, for the program vehicle options, and then you find your uh, custom tune, which in this case is that one. And it's super simple. You literally just go through the menu and click program, and the flash is actually very quick. Um, you want to try and turn off as many accessory electronics in your car as possible, just in case uh, you experience any excessive battery drain. I've actually bricked my own car in the driveway uh, from leaving my DRLs on, so... The first time you do this, you will indeed shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared the first time I tuned my car. Because it didn't even start. <laughs> it just cranked. Yeah, that was fucked up. So it's going to process this data. It's going to take like 10 minutes. Oh, actually? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Alright, well, we'll get back to you when it's done. So now it's writing the tune to the vehicle. Um, it tells you not to turn off the ignition or disconnect the device, obviously, because it's writing software, um, so you really do not want to um, interrupt it. Yeah. And now you just wait. 
All right, guys. So the uh, the tune actually just finished, and you're gonna get a bunch of lights and everything goes off here. CEO, all this advanced track service. Yeah. Um, I mean, the camera's not getting it. But point is, if your dash might spaz. Yeah. You want to turn the car off? So off. Hit done here, and then if all goes well, <laughs> boot it up. So the cold start went fine. The yeah, car is running. It's very smooth. Oh, yeah. by the way, before you data log, your temps need to be at operating temps, or else basically they're going to tell you to send your shit back or send them another log. and the slow rev uh, data logs because we don't want to be a disturbance in the neighborhood. Um, we're going to Mexico. We're pretty much just, yeah, we're going to stop by Mexico to make sure that everything we are doing is completely legal in the United States of America. So we have our laptop opened up. We're in a parking lot so we don't disturb the neighborhood. And uh, basically, you just want to make connections from the laptop to your SCT device and from the SCT device to the OBD. Once all of those are connected, you're gonna wanna have this uh, LiveLink Gen 2 software that Lund tells you to download. Um, open that stuff up on your uh, computer after you connected everything. And uh, basically you're gonna establish a communication between the computer and the car so it can read all the parameters uh, that you're gonna need for your data log. This is also a derived system software, uh, so I guess it's the same provider that um, this is the SCT updater is. So when you open it, it'll ask you uh, what you want to do. Just click that you want to data log a vehicle. And it gives you a guide on how to connect your device. So you can troubleshoot if you have any connection issues. Just uh, disconnect every cable from everything and turn the car off and close the software and reopen it. Just like do everything uh, over again to make sure that you can get the connection. And uh, it gets you to this menu where you can check communications. Click that and make sure that uh, it's communicating with your device. Wait a little bit. And yeah, it says here all of your uh, information sure with, you yeah, yeah, with your device. Um, and obviously it's blurred right now because it's... Uh, you, I don't want you guys to have my serial number. But regardless, it'll <laughs> show it there. And if it doesn't show it there, uh, try and troubleshoot it because we had to deal with it for 30 minutes two days ago and it sucked. Anyway, after that, click on vehicle info in the bottom right. It'll give you more uh, more info about your car and you can just click select items. <laughs> and then your tuner should have uh, emailed you an attachment for a configuration file. Um, and you wanna go to load config. No. Oh, is this, is this the one? Is this yours? It's already loaded or no? no. Either way. Um, this is a CF4 file that uh, your tuner should have sent you for a configuration file that uh, establishes the parameters that need to be data logged. So click on that, open it up, and then you're pretty much ready to data log. All you need to do now to start it is click on this uh, icon right here that starts it, and then the one to the right stops it. So whenever you're finished, you can click that. What we need to do is start the log, and the tuner asked for uh, just an idle a slow rev and a wide open throttle pull. If your car is manual, uh, it might give you these um, items failed to set up because as you can see, these are related to uh, automatic cars with torque converters and gear commanded. So don't worry about that. Um, it'll start the data log. Here's all your parameters are looking all crazy. The time is up here. Uh, so you know how long you've been recording. So we're actually gonna keep the car at idle for a couple minutes here because that's what the tuner requested. And then after that, we're gonna to get to the slow uh, and wide open throttle pulls.
All right, so the log just hit four minutes of idling, and now we're gonna do some slow RPM climbs, just uh, sitting in neutral. We're actually not sure if we have to do this, but we did it in the first revision, so we just wanna make sure that uh, we're doing um, everything. everything that the tuner might want. We can keep using it. No, but it's a 15 minute uh, width. By the way, this whole chart is 15 or 15 seconds wide, so you're done. Um, and then do another 15 at 25. Yeah. So this big blue line is the uh, is the revs, as you can as you can see now. It's being held at about 2,500. You can stop now. And then we're gonna do one at 3,500 right now. Stop. And When I pressed space, it clicked off this item name, but I don't know if it stopped it on the data log. But it turned it back on. It's your accelerator pedal position. Like, I hit space to wake up the computer, oh, and, and then it unchecked it, but I think we're fine. Let's just go um, do the fulls. So now we're going to do some slow, like, RPM climbs, you know, from, like, 2,500 to 5,500 uh, RPM. In both second and third gear. Like, in second and third gear. Just like two of them. Yeah. As many as we can before we hit the long strip. And then after that we get to go wide open throttle. Something that we have been waiting to do for far too long. Alright, so now we're going to do the wide open throttle on the, this stretch of empty Mexico road. Yeah. Faster, but the thing is we can't go all the way to Redline as directed by the tuner which uh, is a little disappointing because This car just really wants to go up there and obviously that's where all the power is made with this uh, supercharger setup stop the log once it's at 14 minutes because the car has been idling for about two so you just go over here and you click stop logging and then you want to go to save and then you want to do save all not save view you want to save all to make sure that the entire uh, data log is saved and then name it whatever you want and uh, save it into a folder wherever you want and then uh, continue to do the emailing back and forth with the tuner as you get your revisions. Also, something that no one tells you, um, if uh, if your log is over 20 megabits, or megabytes, whatever, megabytes yeah, yeah. Um, then you're going to have to compress it with it and make it a zip file so that they can access it. Otherwise, you might not get a tune back same day, and that sucks balls. So, uh, we'll actually keep filming tomorrow once we get the next revision and uh, keep you updated because this... Uh, should go a lot faster. <laughs> See how 
fourth gear didn't feel like we were yeah. going that fast, and then we hit fifth, and it was like, Ooh. Yeah. All right, so we're trying to data log a power loss issue uh, in a fourth gear. We just don't think it's pulling as hard as uh, it should be. It pulls harder before fourth, so we're just doing some pulls to get there. That's definitely, that's definitely not making enough power. That's definitely not making the power. 110, wow, that's like really bad. Uh, Was it like that last night? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it, that is the one time I really felt it. Yeah, well like, I, you get back onto the gear and it's uh -huh. like, it just doesn't give you. Yeah. And I don't know, like, I don't think it's belt slip because I would hear it. Uh huh. Plus we're on a stock pulley, so like, there's no reason we should have any belt slip. Okay, it's going. Fuck. Like so hard. I'm gonna save that one as good pull. Yes. <laughs> 